So in today's tutorial, we're going to be going live. Uh, and what that means is we're gonna be doing a live stream directly to a Facebook page or Facebook group in, in my instance. So as you'll see now in your admin side, you have live class, live webinar and live stream. So what exactly is a live stream and what are the benefits to running a live stream? A live stream um, gives you the ability to do it exactly as it says on the tin. Go live, do a live stream to your audience right away. Just a few benefits. Um, it enables real-time engagement so you can connect with your followers or um, your group members, your community members instantly. If you have a, a release coming up, it means you can get more engagement, more connectivity, more excitement around that particular release or launch. It takes less time to produce. So if you have an idea or a quick update, you can just go live within a matter of minutes. It's super, super cost effective. Obviously it's free. Um, you can do it through the New Zenla platform directly to Facebook and or YouTube. And just one other thing, it gives you the opportunity to drive more traffic, to drive more traffic, more interaction to your group or pages. There are so many other benefits, but that's just a few just to get you going. So here you can see we're in our admin side and we have now the three tabs. This is going to be a bit of a loaded uh, tutorial, um, so you will have to stick with me, follow me. We're going to be going live into the Facebook group and I really want to take you through step by step, almost binary of how to set it up. So straight away you go to create new live webinar. We're going to be keeping this really simple as always, new Zenla testy. We're going to be going live uh, today, which is the 22nd. And let's say we're going to go in just a few minutes. Okay, so I'm going to create that. And now I'm going to start live. And you'll see straight away it comes up with a caption here, live stream to Facebook and YouTube. We will be going live in Facebook. The YouTube is, is pretty much um, a carbon copy of how to set it up. So click on the more button on your live sessions to start live streaming to Facebook and YouTube. So let's start live. And as always, open Zoom US, make sure you have all of the right downloads, the most up-to-date downloads as possible. My video will come straight on, so I'll very quickly and swiftly turn that off. So it's exactly the same process. Perfect, and I will mute that. So now you'll see on here, so just as, as you would do on a Zoom meetings, you go to the more button. And in, in this instance, we're gonna go live on Facebook, but you also have the live on YouTube option here as well. So we're gonna go live on Facebook. And then it will open up your Facebook page. And this is where you can select where you want to post your live video. So again, as always, it's really, really important to test this out several times, okay, to make sure, maybe just set up a private group and go live, just test it out with friends or family. So in this instance, chair where, uh, choose where you want to post your live video. So you have the option of going on your timeline, sharing a friend's timeline, sharing a group or an event. In my instance, I wanna share in a group. And I've already set up my own group. This is a totally private group, just purely for your purposes. So preparing live streaming preview. Okay, so the live stream is now preparing in a Facebook. So here is where we need to add a title and I should say this is uh, Martin test and then you can add a subtitle if you want to. Testy, perfect and then go live. So setting up your meeting for Facebook Live. If I want to turn my camera on, I can turn it on, turn it off. So we're about to go live. 
and you see here Martin Hickey is now in New Zenla test. So I can turn the camera on as always. There's around about a 15 or 20 second delay between your Zoom live and also your Facebook live. But here we are. It's as simple as that, guys. And as always, test, test, test as much as you possibly can. Set up dummy accounts, add friends and family into the groups, make sure the sound is correct. I'm currently recording from a microphone via Camtasia onto my computer um, with through Zoom and Facebook. So there's a whole bunch of different parameters as far as sound. I'm quite conscious of not wanting to lose the sound or the connection. But for you guys, when you're testing it out, test it in so as many different parameters as you possibly can. Um, it's a really, really powerful resource, really great to have within our platform right now. Um, and as you will always also see through your admin side on your webinar, you also now have the option to go live through your live webinar. So you can actually live stream through your webinar as well now.